And it's something Bruce surprised me with. It's a giant crystal ball. <gasps> and it is photography related. Okay. So, well, I shouldn't say, it, was, it depends, John. It is a very nice, I'm kind of shining it up here. If you're a wrestling fan, insert joke about shining things yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to keep uh, it to myself, but yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So, this, now I use this with my iPhone, but you can use it with regular cameras too. Mm-hmm. And the, these things are, I don't want to say common, but they are nice to use. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice crystal ball, and you're, you're holding it, like, you know, just there in between your... your let, me, let me try to get the... Four finger and thumb there. Oh, I see how it's moving things upside down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, That's I mean, cool. it's easy enough within any kind of, um, you know, once you take the picture, you can just go into a regular editing app, and it does come with a nice space. Yeah. Nice. So if you wanted to like put this down to get some nice shots, uh, it just uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just for audio saying size wise, but I say it would uh, if it looks like it would fit nicely in my Starbucks cup. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's uh, for for those who know metric, it's sixty five, um, yeah, sixty five, six and a half centimeters, sixty five millimeters <laughs> metric. For those who know metric, yes, um, and it is a this thing is, is heavy. This thing could be used as a weapon if you get it caustic, because this is solid glass. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is that if you want to have a little bit different of a look when you're taking a photo, is that you would take the photo through the ball, and it kind of gives it a little bit of a fisheye lens look to it. Hmm. Um, and like I said, it does, of course, because it is basically a lens, it flips everything upside down. But every editing software out there it's easy just to flip it around or do a little tweaking just to make it maybe a little clearer um, because you do get some distortion, obviously, since this is sphere. But it does this a nice little extra creative touch mm. to your photography. And the nice thing about, and this, one, this one's nice because it also comes with a little travel bag. And it's not so big that, you know, it it's, could like fit a, in it's kind of like a dice bag almost. It's like, yeah, like, pretty much, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, on that same size. So I mean, it's 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 you know, especially since we're getting near warmer months, and shorts pockets tend to be a little bit bigger, and jean pockets are a little bit easier to fit stuff in. Mm -hmm. It isn't that hard to actually kind of shove that into a um, <clears throat> pants pocket and walk around with it, and get a little bit of a different look. Not that different look there, but a little bit of a different look when you're trying to take <laughs> oh, a photo. That's a cat run through. Cat. Yeah, okay. that walkthroughs, yes. <laughs> um, but it gives you a nice little different look. And the, like I said, the nice thing is it gives you, like I said, it gives you a little bit extra creativity without having to attach anything to the phone, which can be a bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some external lenses, but a lot of times they're a pain to deal with in terms of lining it up quite right or doing other things around here. So it, it makes a nice, I have to use it a few times. Um, it does give it a little bit of, Semi magnification because of the the curve on it, so it makes it again just something nice to get a little extra creative when you're trying to. Oh, there we go. Um, and for the audio people, sort put it and put the note, put the link in it. And you can, like I said, it, and the nice thing is you don't have to zoom in too much. You can actually leave it there and get the reflection there. And it's again just something to give you a nice little extra creative touch to doing photos that's. You know, more than just doing a simple uh, snapshot. I see it's only twelve ninety nine. It's the yeah. GUI. <laughs> I don't know photograph, how it's pronounced. Photograph <laughs> crystal ball sphere K nine yes. glass ball sixty six millimeters yes. with pouch handstand for photography prop and decorative. So yes, there you go. Uh, that, that's awesome. Yeah, nice thirteen dollar quickie thing mm -hmm. that you can play with there. Oh, you got me interested in that. I'm thinking about some video things I could do with that partner. If I want to get creative. Uh, mm, some ideas. <laughs> Put that next to a wrestling ring. I don't know. I was going to say, yeah. that, that that looks really cool for, I, like, the wrestling air aspect of it. Like, yeah. Just to see the action shots. So. Listen, I've been dedicated to this idea that when we come back doing wrestling shows, like our regular, like, local partner wrestling shows like we're mm -hmm. going to be stepping some stuff up like not necessarily what you know not necessarily what we do in the live production because i think we got that mostly yeah i think we got, I think we got a good idea what we're doing there but like the extra stuff right mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it's like we have this canvas what more can we do with this and dave i think you might be seeing me 
playing with a sphere ball around a wrestling ring in the near future. <laughs> oh, I could definitely see that. So. I can definitely see that giving it a little extra movement and I, I, I also want to go to a yeah. skate park with it. I'm inspired a little yeah. bit by uh, Letter Kenny and um there was something else I was watching that, that was doing some skate park stuff. Uh but uh 